What's Markdown? Markdown is a lightweight markup language with plain text formatting syntax. Let me know if you'd like to hear more. Yes. It's designed so that it can be converted to HTML and many other formats using a tool by the same name. Markdown is often used to format readme files, for writing messages in online discussion forums, and to create rich text using a plain text editor. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Damasi and Michael, just talking tech. And welcome, everybody. Thanks to Siri for that introduction. This is DM15, Demasi and Michael, Just Talking Tech. I am, of course, Demasi, and I'm at Demasi on Twitter, D-A-M-A-S-H-E. And joining me, as always, my co-host, Michael Babcock. What's up, Mike? Oh, you know, I'm having an amazing day hanging out with my buddy Siri. This is Michael, and I'm at P-A-Y-O-W-N on Twitter. Demasi, although Siri kind of gave it away, what are we talking about today? And what in the heck? is that thing so we're going to be talking about markdown today and markdown is as siri said a lightweight text markup language that allows you to write in plain text but still add formatting for your document when it is later converted so you can add things like bold text uh, italicized text it makes it super easy to put in links headings and uh, lists as well and uh, me and michael both are using markdown so mike uh, tell people how you got introduced to markdown down first of all and then i'll tell you a little bit about the history of markdown well that's interesting demasi you introduced me to markdown i was looking at the trello card that we created when we wanted to create this episode if you don't know what i'm talking about when i mentioned trello card listen to dm12 and of course we'll have links to that episode in the show notes over at your own pay.com slash dm15 we originally were going to call this episode and i'll be honest this is listed in the explicit category so come on cover your kids' ears. We're going to call this how fucking awesome Markdown is because what Markdown allows you to do is quickly build out documents. I'm in the process of using one of our favorite applications, Drafts, to dictate a free lead magnet that people will be able to get. And all of the formatting is done by using Markdown. If you want to add a heading, for example, you add the hashtag or number sign space, the text of the heading and enter a new line. Markdown has saved me so much time by uh, making it possible for me to bring documents between devices and across platforms. And it's also a great tool for publishing content to the blog. One of the applications I like to use is Drafts, and I mentioned it where all of my ideas start. But Demasi, you've mentioned an application a time or two that you like using with Markdown. What's that app and how does it flow into your workflow? So another app I use besides drafts uh, when writing in Markdown is Ulysses. Uh, And Ulysses is designed for writing in Markdown. They do have their own sort of special flavor of Markdown somewhat, but uh, you can still write just in plain Markdown. Markdown itself started, I want to say in 2004 by John Gruber, who came up with, uh, he was interested in coming up with a lightweight way of writing for the web so that is where markdown got its root where it started uh you had a a a well-known apple blogger over at dairyfireball.net uh that wanted to be able to write for the web and write anywhere using any application uh and still be able to have some nice formatting have his links have his headings etc uh it has grown over the past few years uh to several different flavors of markdown but me and michael both use at its base, the the regular markdown uh, with some multi markdown thrown in there. But Ulysses makes it super easy to not only one, write your document and build a document uh, with some great, great formatting, but also makes it super easy to export that document. So, and you have many different document types that you can export from markdown to. So rich text, for example, you'll get your rich text markup with your bold text, your italicized text, uh, your links actually in your text. Now your headings are going to be Old. It won't actually be a heading level that you can jump to, but uh, exporting as HTML is also an option, uh, which is great for pasting into a website to update a post uh, or a page. Uh, and you also have some other options to export as a Word document, export as a PDF. I've actually built some pretty amazing looking PDF files, just writing in plain text and then having Ulysses generate that for me. As I mentioned earlier, I'm in the process of building out that lead magnet. And one of the things that I find myself doing is just typing up the document and then 
thinking about the formatting later, I get the ideas out of my mind, get it into something like Ulysses or drafts, or I'll get something that will synchronize between both devices because I'm too cheap and I haven't bought Ulysses, Ulysses for iOS yet. And I end up going back and inserting the code for the markdown language. So if I realize that I want to make this section of the document a heading, I'll insert that number sign where I need to and then export the document to whatever format I finally need it in. Now, Damasi, I didn't realize it, but my first introduction was actually before you introduced me to it, but I didn't know what I was using. If you're using a form or message board, you've probably used some sort of Markdown. Uh, when was the first time you actually remember using Markdown, Damasi? So the first time I remember using Markdown uh, was actually about four years ago. And the problem I was running into was trying to write blog posts for my website. And I know HTML. Uh, I know quite a bit of it, but there's always this one thing you have to go back and try to look up or search through and find out what it is. And uh, I just wanted an easier way, easier way to write. Uh, and I was using actually uh, WordPad on Windows at the time, which is just a plain text editor. So writing HTML in that was not fun because you know you got to you know parse through all that code uh, that you've written as you're going through to do an edit to your document uh, or a final proofread of your document. Uh, and I had heard of Markdown before uh, but that was the first time I actually started using it and started uh, slowly implementing it into my writing style so being able to put you know star star you know some text star star which is you know shift eight on your keyboard uh, makes it bold like that's a whole lot easier than you know less than bold greater than the text less than slash bold greater than you know all that stuff for HTML and man if you forget to put a slash in the right place with the HTML you are screwed I'm the type of person that always forgets that slash, and it's in the most convenient place. <laughs> the other aspect of having Markdown in a lot of web applications is, as you know, WordPress and ConvertKit, two of my favorite web tools. Also, some of your social media websites are using this what you see is what you get rich text editor. And sometimes I understand what they're trying to do by implementing accessibility, but sometimes you'll find that the keystrokes like Command K, for example, doesn't perform the action you expect it to. But if the rich text editor will accept Markdown as the input, or if you're using an application that will convert your Markdown code to rich text, then you don't have to worry about remembering what keystrokes work with websites. And I think that's my favorite feature of Markdown. Now, Damasi, before we conclude this episode, we'll have more links where people can get information about Markdown. Of course, like always over at youronpay.com slash DM15. Do you have anything else you want to add? Uh, let's just run through a couple of apps that we use that support Markdown. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, that you have not yet bought Ulysses for iOS. And given that you don't spend as much time on iOS as I do, that may not necessarily make sense at the moment. But there are several applications that will sync using iCloud or Dropbox that work on both Mac and iOS. So if you're looking for a solution for an app that is going to be on both platforms, ByWord is an excellent solution. Uh, they keep their app updated regularly. Uh, they are aware and focus on accessibility features and uh, it's, a, it's a much lightweighter solution uh, for just simply being able to write in markdown and they give you some export options uh, html or rich text so you still have those options available to you and you can sync your documents through icloud uh, or through dropbox one of the other advantages of markdown is that it's just plain text at its base when you start writing it's just plain text you can save the file wherever you want to you can write it in drafts on ios and save that to dropbox and open that up in ulysses on your mac or open it up and text edit uh you don't have to go spend a lot of money to get one of these high profile super feature rich applications just to write in markdown because again it's just plain text and it is often used for readme documents. I recently noticed, you know, I saw that name of the file.md and I thought it was going to be this complicated file to open. And then I clicked on it and it opened up in the iPhone. I'm like, wow, that's, that's easy. And now I know what it is. And that is the beautiful thing about Markdown. And uh, one reason that uh, all of us web writers, and there are a lot of web writers that are getting into using Markdown or are using Markdown, uh, which is why you're seeing so many tools like Ulysses and ByWord. And geez, man, you just do a search for Markdown in the App Store or iOS and like, you're going to get hundreds of results there. There are 
I mean, literally hundreds of apps that uh, support Markdown because it's just lightweight, it's text, uh, but it works anywhere. You can open it on the iPhone. That's the nice thing about it. Somebody would send me a rich text document on iOS and you know, what the hell am I going to do with that? Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing, uh, because there, there was no way to deal with RTL files, uh, you know, four or five years ago on iOS. Uh, you know, GitHub, a lot of the stuff that you see, if you are a GitHub, you know, user, subscriber, browser, uh, you know, a lot of what you're reading there is written in Markdown. Uh, so as Michael mentioned, a .md file extension or .mmd uh, for multi-Markdown, it's just going to open up in a text editor. Plain text, you can read it fairly easily. We'll even put an example of what some plain text written in Markdown looks like on this, uh, on the show notes for this episode at youronpay.com slash dm15. So definitely go over and check those out. And with that, we're going to wrap up this episode. Again, you can always reach out to us on Twitter. I'm at Damasi, D-A-M-A-S-H-E. Mike is at Payom, P-A-Y-O-W-N. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you guys next week. You've been listening to Your Own Pay Podcast. If you've enjoyed today's episode, visit yourownpay.com slash cast for exclusive content. And to contact us today. We're eager to hear your thoughts and about how you're making this podcast your own. Thanks for listening. We'll be back soon. The Your Own Pay Podcast, yourownpay.com.